Today I'm going to be walking you through how to hook up a computer power supply to a car amplifier and car subwoofer. Uh, I'm going to be using a PowerUp uh, by ATX, um, model number PU4500. Uh, it's running 24 amps um, the, at the 12 volt level, of course. My amplifier has a fuse for 25 amps, so it's pretty well matched, just an amp short from the power supply. Uh, the higher amperage you have is the better, obviously, because that's what's going to give you more power to your subwoofer. As you can see, I already have a decent amount of the work already done. Uh, first thing you want to do is all the orange wires and the red wires, just go ahead, get rid of them, and just clip them on out of there. Next thing you want to do is you're going to want to look at the pinout of your computer power supply model, and it should be on the main connector. Um, you can just go online to figure out whatever uh, pinout your computer power supply has. And what you're going to want to do is you want to look for, it's typically a green wire, and it'll say power OK. And what you're going to want to do is you have to have that green wire connected to any of the black ground wires. And basically what this does right here is this completes a circuit, tricking the computer power supply to think that this is plugged into a computer and everything's going OK. If you don't do this, your power supply won't turn on, and that's no good. So the next thing you want to do is you want to get all your yellow wires together. Yellow wires are the ones that run at the 12 volts, the same voltage as your car battery and the same voltage that will be needed to power your amplifier. Uh, you're going to want to take all the yellow wires and group them together. Uh, I know I got a red wire or two in here. I cut a few of the yellows short, so I just replaced them with red, but they are 12 volts. And the main objective here is that since you're running such a high amperage, just one wire alone will not be sufficient to maintain that high amperage, especially in those low, deep bass notes. So go ahead and group all of them together, and at the ends, I put a clip on, got a little heat shrink, uh, tighten those up real nicely, um, and then you're going to need to cross over a small wire for the remote control. Um, I'll show you that in a short little bit, uh, what's this used for. And you want to do the same thing with your ground. Uh, just get all your black wires together, go ahead and clip them up, use a little heat shrink, and you're pretty much good to go to hook it up at this point. I'm going to clean it all up and you'll see me at the Amplify. Got everything nice and cleaned up here. Got the black ground going into the ground terminal, the yellow 12 volt going into the 12 volt terminal, and lastly the remote wire going into the remote input. What this wire is used for is in your car, whenever you turn your car on, this triggers your amplifier to turn on as well. So since whenever we turn the power supply on, we want our amplifier to turn on, what we're going to do is we're just going to bridge one of these 12 volt wires right around here into your remote ground. Uh, this also runs off at of 12 volts, so you're not doing any harm by just making that simple bridge there. Additionally, I went ahead and I already bridged the, uh, the speaker wire for the uh, mono one subwoofer uh, feature that most amplifiers have, since I'm only running one subwoofer. And lastly, to connect all this to your stereo, what you're going to need to do is your home stereo runs off of 8 ohms and your car subwoofer only runs off of 4 ohms. So to trick your stereo into running off of 4 ohms to match your amplifier and your subwoofer, you're going to go ahead and you're going to take two sets of speaker wire, and in my case, I went ahead and used my speaker level inputs. Um, so basically, you're just going to take each wire, go ahead and line them up and just put them right in here, and attach this to the back of the amplifier and on the back of your home receiver you have your two wires coming in and you're gonna go ahead and twist both the positives together and both the negatives together hook up your positives to the red terminal hook up your negatives to the black terminal here and you're good to go let's give it a try Jiggle it out your jeans, baby, pull your pants up I like it when I see you do it 